Hey you guys, it's Shannon. So this video is based off of one of my most requested, um, well, the most requests I've ever had. Um, and that's basically how to make interference paint, interference acrylic. Um, there's lots of ways to do it, um, but to make any kind of acrylic paint, the first thing you've got to have is an acrylic polymer. Um, and I've kind of gotten to the point where I really, <laughs> really love uh, my gloss gel mediums and just all the different mediums and textures you can do with that stuff. Um, so this is actually the last <clears throat> little bit I have of um, this basics. It's a good one to start out with. I think it's eight. It's eight. I paid eight ninety nine at Hobby Lobby. It might be more now. I don't know. Um, and I have a forty percent off coupon. So if you're looking to start out with a, acrylic mediums, it's a good one to start with. Is to play with here gloss gel medium. Um, a lot of the paints I started out with were like hobby paints that you buy from the craft store. Um, and so using this is nice because it gives you that more more of like a buttery consistency which is really nice. Um, and if you buy a little higher end acrylic paints you'll see kind of a difference. Um, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started anyways. I'm off topic, sorry. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to have some sort of interference pigment. Um, this is a highlight orange. I bought this from TKVTrading.com uh, because I also make my own makeup. Uh, basically, and I'm using highlight orange because I thought about when I was making was going to make an interference color. Basically, kind of what color am I never going to use in my makeup? Um, anyways, this is the powder I got. Um, you need a mica, a pigment, something to start out with. Um, and since we are making an interference, you're going to want a mica because it's going to have color shift. Um, this is highlight orange. That's this color. So um, you don't have to get it from TKB Trading. There's lots of makeup places you can get this. This is a sample size. Um, so that's what we're going to use. I think this is like a teaspoon or a tablespoon or something. Uh, you could also, what I've used as well, you can use... Um, Oh, Perlex makes a color shift pigment as well that's used in crafting and you can Perlex powders make really great paint. Um, they come in I think like 38 or 40 colors. So it makes a fabulous one. Um, fabulous colors. You know, and if you get the opportunity to try some, they have like a sample set. That's what I like to buy. Um, and they have the color shift in it, but they actually have a lot more color shifts available online. And you can buy their jars, like large jars, for like four or five bucks. And it basically, if you wanted to turn it into strictly interference paint, it would be—I mean, it would make a huge amount. So I'm gonna get this down here so you guys can see this. But basically, the first step with any making any sort of paint, which we've been through this step before, is to mill your paint. Now I want a lot of color in mind and I'm literally going to use this whole thing. So I'm thinking basically the best way, I'm just going to use it all. And this may take a while so if it does we'll fast forward through it. So that's all my paint. So what you're going to do is you're going to mill it. And mull it, mill it. I'm still not sure how to say that word so I'm sorry. But basically you're going to use water. Ideally if you have um, distilled or filtered water that is the best but you're gonna use whatever you've got because I'm a big fan of that now the thing with mica pigments things like that sometimes they don't dissolve in water well sometimes they do so it's just one of those things you gotta learn as you go um, this is the first time I've ever done this highlight orange so I don't really know what it's gonna do if it doesn't dissolve well in water you just need to mix a little alcohol with it um, like rubbing alcohol, ideally 91% so that it evaporates out by the time you're done with stuff. Um, and then you'll want to mill it. So.
sure if you guys can see the the color shift on my hands from the paint I made. Um, it's definitely there. It's definitely color shifting, um, which is what an interference paint does. And I I bought all these tubes from Dick Lit because honestly, they're empty aluminum tubes. They're just when you make your own paint or you mix your own colors, it's just it makes life so much easier. That's all I can say. Um, I don't know how much. I don't know that I have enough for a big tube. I'm going to have to get a big tube. I think I have too much for a little tube. Well, we'll use a big tube today. So, this is kind of the little technique I've developed because basically putting them in this stuff in these little tubes can kind of be a butt pain, to put it mildly. So, um, basically, I figured out if I put it in a little zippy lock bag, really love the color shift on that. I definitely put plenty of pigment in it, if nothing else. Uh, put it, snip the tip. And then just kind of squirt it all in. Because getting it into these tubes is very messy otherwise. So I, I just, this is my preferred method to get it into a tube. But these tubes are super, super nice um, to use. And so I'm going to save this little bit and then I'm just going to squirt it out so you guys can see what it looks like. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tamp this down because we want to get it as evenly distributed in there. I'm never sure which way this thing's looking um, as possible. Yeah. I think it was definitely too big for a little tube. Um, you can sort of see all the colors in it. Um, and the, really the nice thing about this is, is that um, they sell like a crimper is what they call it, but it's not worth your money. Don't invest. Um, some things you're going to want to because they're going to be worth the investment. If you got a set of pliers, you're good to go. Basically, you're going to take your plier and you're going to crimp, crimp, crimp. You're going to take your pliers and you're just going to crimp it down. And you want to crimp the corners as well. I just, yeah. And that little bit you see coming out, that was actually from the end. That is not from like somewhere in the tube. And then what I like to do so that you know what the heck is in here, kind of like when you buy the fancy fancy 20, this, this paint cost you and you're going to get less than what I'm putting in here because this is a huge tube. If you think about it, um, what you get is those little tubes, they're thinner than this, about half the size, and they're probably about the same length. But basically what I would do is have a, have a black marker ready, please. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Let's see. Okay, so write what it is. So in this case, I used highlight orange and gloss. And then what you can do, you can smear it over. Well, what's really nice is just, you could use paint, by the way. It's not going to make a whole hoo-ha lot of difference. I just happen to have a marker handy. So for me, this is what I'm using. And smear the bad boy on so you know what he does when you put it on. And so you can be like, hmm, that's got some beautiful reflection. So that's how you make your own interference colors. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below. Hey, guys. Um, it's me. I just wanted to show you real quick. This is the picture I made using um, interference colors that I made. Um, well, that's not true. These I got from... Daler Rowney or something. They're actually an artist acrylic ink, and um, I actually I'm really getting into artist acrylic inks or acrylic inks right now. Um, but basically, 
like I said, you can just, the really cool thing with this is I used it, see? And it just really, really shows off. And you can really tell it, you know, like I used a gold here, but this is orange, and you can see the difference. So it's kind of nice. Um, and I used um, all different kinds of um, textural mediums because I'm really into those right now. So, um, yeah. But I just wanted to show you, you know, kind of how to use them. And can you, I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but basically this is going to be a picture that's going to hang in my office. Um, I work with livestock, um, specifically mostly cattle. So, anyhow, this is just a painting I did that I wanted to hang at work. and So, it worked out really well because I ended up needing interference anyways, color. So, anyhow, I just want to show you guys that, you know, you can get all different colored interference and pigments and you can make them, you can mix them and make your own custom color and, it's just, it, it's, it's fabulous stuff. That's all I can say. Hope y'all like it. Let me know. Peace. And remember to keep on painting. Or crafting. Or baking. Or whatever you do. Just keep on keeping on. Later, guys. Bye.